Well, I think uh, this is just a part of their uh, unloading process. Again, uh, we have been reiterating that it is really about time that these foreign funds uh, should begin taking their profits. But again, at these levels, I'm not really worried about the foreign funds going out. I may, I'm more worried about the local funds going out of the market as well. Um, you see, if the, mar if the local market begins to go out, uh, chances are... Um, with the current index, it could go to the, to the 7,400 levels, with which the foreign funds might again enter into the Philippine markets. And so is 7,400 the next uh, support level that you're looking at? Yes, as of now, we are currently looking at the 7,400 level. But uh, I think that uh, as of yesterday, the 7,500 level support is currently intact because it tried to penetrate and it went as low as 7,495. But again, it was it bounced back up to 7,550. So I guess we're just going to play within that range. But see, Paul, the punches keep coming, it seems, because now we finally have the results of the mining audit and that's... That counter has dragged down the PSE index on Tuesday. At this stage, we know only 11 of the 41 metallic mines pass. What sort of fallout do you see uh, across the markets over the coming days? Well, with regard to the mining firms, I think uh, uh, one of the key players would, uh, for example, Nickel and um, Semirara might have a chance of going up, uh, mainly because... Um, the only factor that uh, made these stocks go down is because of Gina Lopez pronouncement. Now that it's already out of the picture, uh, assuming that she will not do anything apart from the release of the audit, uh, chances are it might go uh, and um, go up to the last range with which it was being traded as of that. I think that's two months. Uh, we're going to backtrack the price of the stock within two months. But when you months, I mean. But Paul, when you take a look at a company, for instance, like Semirara, the, the big question is, are they really out of the woods now? Because the DENR did say that they were targeting coal uh, miners next. And Semirara, of course, the biggest of the lot. Although we know also at this stage that the Molave expansion was found to be technically sound. What's your outlook on Semirara? Well, for me, if we're going to look into the fundamental uh, aspects of Semirara, uh, the company is really doing well. If we're going to look at their balance sheets and income statements, it's as stable as ever. As a matter of fact, uh, if we're going to look into moving forward projections of the company's income, it might even have an increase of um, double, uh, it might even register a double digit increase within the next two, uh, one to two years. Um, with regards to the possible moves that Gina Lopez might do with the Semira, with the mining companies, um, I don't think she can do anything further apart from uh, uh, questioning um, the policy and uh, questioning the rules that the, uh, or the possible audits that she might conduct. Well, for example, let me uh, recall that uh, she has actually uh, questioned the regional director of the EMB upon releasing the early uh, upon releasing the audit results earlier as compared to uh, uh, it was released I believe Thursday instead of being released on Monday um, if we're going to look into the laws actually the regional director has the authority to do that because it is uh, ministerial in the nature of the, of the regional director to uh, pass, the, uh, pass the audit results to the auditee uh, it doesn't really have to go to the central office with which Gina Lopez has jurisdiction Right. Now, Paul, let's end on a lighter note, shall we? Shell IPO finally inside, but it's, uh, it's going to be priced most likely at around 90 pesos a <laughs> piece, which is kind of on the pricey side. What sort of market reception do you guys think this will get? Yes, um, when I actually heard that it was going to be priced at 90 pesos, we were, be, we were a bit taken aback uh, because uh, I don't think the local retail investors would really want to go uh, at the price which is 
almost near 100 pesos and now you're going to peg it at 90 pesos uh, i believe they will uh, if uh, things uh, go on as we have projected i think um, they would uh, opt to lower the price uh, maybe up to 75 to 80 pesos per share but um, with uh, as of now i guess we'll just leave it at that at 90 pesos uh, well it is good for the institutional investors i mean they can afford that but uh, with regards to the uh, retail investors i am they usually prefer IPO prices, which is only within the single digits, or if what, low low double digits figures. So I don't think, uh, in terms of pricing, they would uh, be enticed to buy the Shell IPO. Wow. Also, if you're going to look into the fundamentals of um, Shell, I think they've incurred a loss uh, up to 2000 or oh, two year two years way back. But actually, they're not beginning to go. Uh, to go back and um, they're actually beginning to uh, increase their momentum and now they, I think right. 2015 they already registered the game. Okay, well we'll find out very soon if they'll change their pricing. Thanks for your insights, Paul Michelangelo for Gina Capital.